In this 15 minute video you will learn how to create exploded isometrics with this script. Hello and welcome to another tutorial. As I promised last time, we are going to be working again with our band that we created. Um, today we are going to work in this kind of animation where we get a, an explosion, an isometric explosion. And we are going to be using this script, uh, or we are going to be using the expression that I made two episodes ago, and now I turned it into a full script for you to use. So it's going to be available in the description below. You can find it there. And I'll show you later what it does. So we're going to build something that looks like this. And uh, I hope that we can achieve this effect. I, this was a, a gift that I did a while ago, but okay. Let's hope that we can achieve it. Um, some similar result. We have um, this band uh, that we created in Hexels and it's separated um, each part in, in a different layer. Um, the idea for this was that we could just take them one by one and animate them um, more easily when transferring into um, After Effects. So what I did was just draw um, every single part of this in a different layer. So let me show you something here, for example. Um, yeah, we got the sides and we got uh, every single piece here. So the next step when we have this ready is to actually export it. Um, we are going to export it as an SVG image. We're going to hit save and the resolution is fine at 20. Uh, we're going to hit OK and everything is checked. Uh, that's fine. So we hit OK. Uh, well, that creates this um, SVG file that we are going to open in Illustrator. Um, strangely, this this van is always outside the um, the artboard. I don't know why, but well, it really doesn't matter. Oh, we kind of centered it uh, pretty roughly uh, right there. And um, we had this problem in the last video, so we are going to fix it the same way. We are going to path simplify. We click on straight lines and then we find the angle threshold that really reduces um, these vertices, this stuff, this. Okay, so we hit OK and then, well, they're just, they're simplified. But now what we need is, uh, okay, we have this group and we got um, a bunch of layers from Hexel. So we are going to um, move this these layers outside that um, thing and I'm, I'm only taking it one um, you know one 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 step there because we can actually ba make them as a full layer so these are kind of soft layers into into um, Illustrator so what we are going to do is that we are going to select the layer that contains the whole sub layers and we're going to hit um, this little icon here where we have some more options and we are going to tell it to release to layers sequence and once we do that what we're doing is that we are creating a new layer for each now we can just take this out and there we have it so we delete the original layer or those those other word and well we have a different layer for each part of the illustration uh, one problem I had was the okay um, remember we had the names here for every single um, layer well when when we do that the release to layer sequence um, it's it is generating these generic names um, and I really don't know how to do it that uh, it doesn't really matter actually but it it does help uh, when you are organizing uh, a project so 
for this case well it doesn't matter but if you have a solution i really i would really love to hear that uh so let me know in the comments below if you have any idea of how to keep the names um when we use um the relates to layers um option okay so um let's just move into after effects now that we have this uh okay but first let's just save this file as an illustrator file okay now that we are here uh, we are going to import that van we're going to just drag it here and we're going to tell it all right you're going to import it as a composition and the feeder dimensions are going to be the layer size so we hit ok and it is going to create a camp with all our layers um, in here so that's pretty nice pretty cool we have this and well we can we can try to place them all uh, let's just add this to a new composition let's place it right there okay looks good uh, but now we need to just make this composition bigger um, or so yeah I think that can help let's just make it a lot bigger I don't know how much but a lot bigger so we can see the isometric explosion actually so let's just leave it a random big number okay and well we learned in um, in episode 5 that about an expression to constrain the movement of these layers so we can just move it along uh, its uh, isometric axis so for that we had to add a bunch of slider controls three slider controls for each axis and then we had to just uh, copy and paste the the expression into the position property but since that is that would be just okay if we are doing it for just one thing it it might be done easily but imagine doing that for every single of these 47 layers that we have here it will be just too slow and it, it's not a good way to do it so what I decided was that okay there must be a better way to do it or to automate it so uh, this weekend I was taking a look at, um, at, at a tutorial that I'm linking in the description that just uh, teach me how to create uh, an expression uh, how to create a script out of an expression so what I did was to just write a bunch of code and um, I created this uh, isometric rigor um, a script that you can install um, on your on your machine uh, I'm, I'm linking the description below and you just toggle it here uh, you, you have to place it um, let me show you we have to go into program files Adobe Adobe After Effects super files uh, scripts scripts UI panels and just drop it here uh, once you drop it here um, you are going to be able to okay maybe you might have to restart After Effects after that but um you are going to be able you will be able to just toggle it from here you're going to have a, a panel and what it does that is it automates everything so when i click here all it's doing is that it's creating these three different um slider controls and if we hit p on our keyboards uh you'll see that the expression is already applied in there so we don't have to do this thing for every single layer so it's so uh, handy that you can um, instead of just applying it to all of them to each one we can just select them all and click in the rig uh, button and that way we have this for everything so it's just that easy and now we can start animating 
um yeah the problem here was as i told you the name so it's harder to just keep track of what is what but well nothing is just this isn't perfect but it works so let's just try doing a few things here um for example uh, we can add keyframes for for the movement so we can go here oh my gosh uh you so can go here and uh, let's say all right let's just um what do we do here let's just move into the two second mark and yeah we are going to place it here this is the final position and then we are going to displace it off the screen and we're going to do the same for every single piece of this so hit you to see the keyframes we are moving it and we're doing it for all of them so so you have an idea mm, this doesn't have to be any anything complicated you just uh, the pieces from the top while well, you're displacing it in, in the y-axis uh, the pieces from the the right side for example like this one well we're moving it in, in this C axis so let's just take it right there or so um and yeah just keep doing it for every single piece of this so for example this one is yeah this is the top so well um do them just try to do it quickly or take your time however you want uh, okay all right now that we have this um, we we are having something like that will look like this um, but at this point well is to um, just too linear it is just to um, you know uh, simple uh, it's not looking that good yet uh, we what we can start doing is actually uh, that we can offset the, the animation so for example we want to animate uh, something first and then another thing or let's say we want to animate something a little differently uh, well we'll see so So yeah, let's just start playing a little bit more with this and we'll take a look. Uh, we can, okay, let's try just adding some easing for the sake of adding some easing to see what happens. Uh, let's add something like this. And well, just by that, it's getting a little better, so, okay, give me some time, and I'll show you uh, the final result. Okay, so we have something more um, pleasing, I think. Well, we still have to make a lot of adjustments and stuff, but, well, overall it's looking much better. So. This is all you have to do, you just um, try to um, offset different layers, try to just mix the, the in and out points of, of the animation and, and yeah, until just to just get something that looks good um, for what you're doing. So well, this covers, I think uh, this is all for today. Um, remember that I, I'm giving you um, access to this uh, little script that it comes quite handy for me if you want to use it then just go and do it it's totally free and it's available in the description so if you are creating something with this uh, let me know uh, I always like to see 
what others are creating. Um, well, um, thanks for watching. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, leave comments. You know, I love people that comment all the time. So um, I try to respond to all of them. I, I, I really do. I, I don't have that many comments yet. So okay. Um, thank you again for watching the videos, and I'll see you guys next next Thursday. So bye. Thank you.